<laughs> I told you so, so will you welcome her now? Here's Jenny! Jenny Powell! <laughs> Good to see you. Hello, Hello, Mel. I'm keeping them in. Don't worry, I'm keeping them in. <laughs> the under control. Today. I did do some research, sir, and they have trouser fillets if you're interested. Trouser fillets? <laughs> yeah, I will. I'll, 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 you won't need that. I'll let you know about that not. later. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been up to this week? Well, I've had quite a busy week, and uh, I don't know if anyone else knows, but I'm a Cheshire girl. And, uh, of course, up north last week, we are suffering from the earthquake. Oh, yes. Yeah. And, boy, did the earth move in my bedroom. Really? Oh, yeah, it was the middle of the night, and I thought, oh, I've had a baby, I haven't done this in years. <laughs> and the bed was rumbling. I've even taken a couple of photos, actually. That, that was a photo... That was pre-earthquake, actually. I didn't even know anything about this. Did you know? Where have I been? Well, it was it more happened up north. in Dudley. Oh, yeah, Dudley. And any sort of spread upwards. I didn't know. Oh. But it was extremely <laughs> traumatic. What were you doing there? <laughs> well, I was just recovering then. It's about two o'clock in the morning, you see. <laughs> and uh, obviously, I'm not normally on my own, but somebody had to take the photo. I don't know who he was. <laughs> so um, you were on your own when the earth moved for you? Well, no, I was clutching onto my other half, Toby. Uh, but then he leapt out of the bed the way men do as a hero. Was and it really that bad? It was, honestly. There were rumblings. We've got a four-poster and, like, the four-posters were going like that and they've never done that, not since I've moved in, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but this is typical Cheshire, right? Because you know what Cheshire people are like? <coughs> I ran downstairs to our bar, because everybody's got a bar in Cheshire, and, like, the glasses were teetering <laughs> off the glass oh, shelf. Oh, it was that way. bad. We have movements, you see. We mm. to four on the, mm. on the scale of things as, yes. as earthquakes go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why are you looking at me? I'm not going to get my fillets out. Don't worry, don't do Same hands today. <laughs> now, also, because I haven't seen you for a while, Mel, yes. I know that, you know, you're getting on with your baby. You look yes. gorgeous, by the Thank way. Thank you very much. But very nice. But having had one previously myself, yes. I don't want you to go down this road. What? Right? You're glam, you're gorgeous, isn't she? Oh, she right? is. Right? Very nice. And you're still a foxy chick, but don't start dressing sensibly, because this happens. What's that? What's that? Well, yeah. it's sort of like you start, you, you get out of the little stringy bikinis and you start getting these sort of like low leg swimming costumes <laughs> and halter necks which are sensible to have the boobs. Yes. Is the dog some more concerned about? <laughs> <laughs> it'll all come, it'll all come. And also, it's sort of drawstring waists appear with the old pajamas and stuff. <laughs> oh, look at your little girl. I know, oh, but even you... she's hiding in shame <laughs> because <laughs> she obviously thought she was going to have a trendy mother and it ended up being me. But then, what really I mean, no offence to the over 50s or whatever, but I've actually bought a gillet. A what? I got a gillet. gillet. What well, gillet? It, it, gillets and gillets. Fillets things. and gillets, that's me. But oh, it's, it, it, it warms your chest to, and it's sort of cold winter nights. It's got no sleeves, so you've still got room for movement. Yes. But it's sort of padded all here, and it, it's something that you end up wearing when you're a mum. A gilet. Oh, a gilet, <laughs> not you. Leave the keys, I'll lock up. <laughs> what are we on about gilets and gillets and gillets? You must have one of these. Oh, yes. I wear it all the time. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> but no. it, it's, it's, it's something that's very sensible, it's something that happens as, as you become a mother. Or yeah. I've got all this to look forward to. Yes, you have. But, right. you know, you, I, I just want you to stick to being glam if you okay, possibly well, can. I'll try. Yeah. I will try. Now, now, the other thing, I know, after next week, uh, I'm going on safari. You are? Why yeah, you? yeah. <coughs> the Elton. jungle, you? Yeah, me. Frightening the lions, I should think. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, well, when I'm out there, you see, uh, obviously I'll be wearing my shorts and what have you. And I don't think men realise the sort of things we have, the lengths us women go to, you know, to make ourselves look beautiful. Even when we're out on safari or on the beach or whatever, do the ladies? No, they don't realise. And I caught myself doing something yesterday and I thought, I've got to share this with people like you just because I think you should know what we go through. Because having met you before, <laughs> I know... Can I just have a feel? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Getting to you know see, you. <laughs> you have got extremely smooth legs. He's got the smoothest Hang skin. Hang on, they're hairy. No, what do you mean smooth? They're, they're hairy. No, they're lovely legs. They're beautiful legs. <laughs> And, you know, if, if you want to sort of go out as far as stuff and look immaculate, then obviously you have to get rid of the hairy bits. Well, I've got hairy bits everywhere. Well, you don't. Have well, to you get don't. Rid of women, no, women, your girl, women so, do. Oh. So I had to do that last night. What is, what is that? that? <laughs> well, I don't like getting waxed, so I put cream on. It's that hair removing cream. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at that. And the hairs were actually that long, you can't see, but they're actually poking through the thick layer of cream that I had on my legs. <laughs> 
So I put them on my legs, and then I thought, well, in case of a bush fire, I better go all the way up. <laughs> so I did, but I'm not showing you those photos. <laughs> it's the word bushfire that I'm resisting. I'm resisting that one. <laughs> Mind oh, I, are you not taking the babe with you this time? You won't go because what happened? You said when you take your ba your little girl through customs, well, immigration. It, it's it, my, my, my daughter is blue-eyed, <coughs> fair, and she looks absolutely gorgeous. Of course, not like that. And whenever I go through passport what control, do they, think you are, then? they think I'm a sort of dodgy sort of Albanian nanny or something <laughs> because I just don't look. We're, we're so different. <laughs> and I sort of get you know the guys at passport control like this. Uh, it always take much longer. I don't know. Nobody went as well. So dodgy nanny. No, no, no. She is stealing the baby. <laughs> so uh, I do have to. So I'm not taking a whip because I get into but a lot of trouble. But you are going to frighten all those poor people in the jungle. Yeah, now I've frightened you. I'm going to go and frighten. Animals well, if thank you, Jenny, Jenny. She'll be joining Jenny. us yeah, next week. Thank you, Jenny. Yeah, next week. Thank you. Well, we'll be back soon with Liz Gore.